Let us stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, Maker of earth and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and unmade, of the one being of the Father, through the name of all things we made, for us and for our salvation, he came and out of heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became the from the Virgin Mary. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son and his worship and glory. He is also the cross. We believe in one of the holy baptism and the solid church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brother, it has pleased God to call you to be the shepherd and chief pastor of this diocese. I am sure that long before now, you have laid to heart the high trust and weighty obligations of this office. But in order that this congregation may know your commitment to fulfill this trust, I call upon you to reaffirm the promises you made when you were ordained and consecrated a bishop. Will you exercise your ministry in obedience to Christ? I will obey Christ and will serve in his name. Will you be faithful in prayer and in the study of Holy Scripture that you may have the mind of Christ? I will, for he is my help. Will you boldly proclaim and interpret the gospel of Christ, enlightening the minds and stirring up the conscience of your people? I will, in the power of the Spirit. As chief priest and pastor, will you encourage and support all baptized people in their gifts and ministries, nourish them from the riches of God's grace, and pray for them without ceasing, and celebrate with them the sacraments of our redemption? I will, in the name of Christ, the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Will you guard the faith, unity, and discipline of the church? I will, for the love of God. Will you share with your fellow bishops in the government of the whole church? Will you sustain your fellow presbyters and take counsel with them? Will you guide and strengthen the deacons and all others who minister in the church? I will, by the grace given me. Will you be merciful to all, show compassion to the poor and strangers, and defend those who have no helper? I will for the sake of Jesus Christ. May the Lord who has given you the will to do these things give you the grace and power to perform them. Amen. Amen. My brother, you have been recognized as a bishop of the church and as bishop of this diocese. Now I, Catherine Jeffords Shorey, by the authority committed to me and with the consent of those who have chosen you, to invest you, John McKee Sloan, as Bishop of the Diocese of Alabama, with all the temporal and spiritual rights and responsibilities that pertain to that office, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. On behalf of the people and clergy of the Diocese of Alabama, 
I give into your hands this pastoral staff. May Christ the Good Shepherd uphold you and sustain you as you carry it in his name. I, John McKee Sloan, Bishop in the Church of God, now duly invested and acknowledged as Bishop of this diocese, receive this pastoral staff at your hands as a token of my jurisdiction and of your recognition, and do solemnly promise that I will observe and to the utmost of my power, fulfill the responsibilities and obligations of this office, striving in all things to be a faithful shepherd to the flock of Christ, so help me God. chapter of the Cathedral Church of the Advent, and on behalf of the people of this diocese, I install you key in the chair appointed to your office. May the Lord stir up in you the flame of holy charity and the power of faith that overcomes the world. Amen. always with you.
Once again, is on behalf of the Cathedral Church of the Advent, the chapter of the Cathedral Church of the Advent, I, I welcome you and, and greet all of you, brothers and sisters in Christ, in this uh, grand day in the life of our parish. Immediately following our service, after our Holy Communion, we have a reception in Clement Commons, just to the right of the pulpit, in the big room just behind me, and of course you are all welcome. Just a moment, we'll have our communion in addition to the uh, to the rail, receiving communion the rail. We'll also have two statements here on either side uh, of the uh, of the main aisle, and we suggest that if you your uh, intention is to take communion at the rail, that you would kind of line up in the center of the aisle, and if your intention is to take communion at one of the stations, that you would line to the. Uh, closer to the end of the pews, so it make it more easy for you to get to, uh, to the rail. Our celebrant today, the presiding uh, bishop of the Episcopal Church, would be pleased uh, to greet you. Catherine. I am exceedingly grateful to the cathedral and the many congregations of this diocese for your hospitality over these days. It is a great, great festive occasion and the whole of the Episcopal Church joins in this celebration. Episcopalians in Taiwan and in Micronesia, in Honduras, Ecuador, Colombia, Venezuela, Haiti, and the Bishop of Haiti is with us, in the Dominican Republic, in the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, in Puerto Rico, in Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, and all across the United States. They pray for you this day. I would ask your prayers for them. The offering at today's service will go to the bishop's discretionary fund. And as my bishop in Oregon used to say, you will be very generous. <laughs> Walk in love as Christ loved you. That's the offertory sentence so I'll get back to it. Stephen's already getting ready to do the music. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Before you start reaching for something to put in the plate, walk in love. Walk in love as Christ loved us. This is a good place to walk in love. It's a good moment to walk in love. I hope you will walk in love with the people who you came here with and walk in love as you go back home. I hope you will walk in love with people you've never met who are sitting here. That is our task. Walk in love as Christ loves us. I want to thank my friend Duncan for a wonderful sermon. I think it's part of my job to thank people for wonderful sermons, but that really was a wonderful sermon. <laughs> In the last two decades, you became a really good preacher. <laughs> I want to thank you for what you said and for some stories that you did not tell. <laughs> I want to thank especially our readers, uh, Zach Woolley, who read from the Old Testament is um, a friend and a camper and on staff of a special session and a junior at Mississippi State University <laughs> about them dogs. Um, our children are here right now. We have a song on the now in the uh, the New Testament lesson and we thank all of them very much. Uh, we want to thank uh, our friends at the Cathedral Church of the Advent for being so hospitable for us today. Our friends at St. Mary's on the Highland who were so hospitable last night. I've told a lot of my brother bishops how lucky I am to be serving here, and I hope you know it's true. Uh, there are some things that we don't do as well as maybe we will, maybe we should, but we got hospitality. <laughs> we know how to do it. Uh, and so we're grateful to all those good folks. Um, I want to thank Catherine again, of course, for coming and being a part of this. She's a busy person, and, and I'm touched 
and we're grateful for her leadership. And And our friend, Henry Parsley, is still around. There he is. <laughs> who has served us in our work and who will always be a part of our diocese and family. who are bishops who are here. They have come from a long way, from Maine and Oklahoma and all parts in between. I'm delighted that you're here. Um, I hope you have enjoyed our hospitality. And I want to thank all of you for coming. A long time ago, my dad told me he shouldn't thank people for coming to church. They just ought to. <laughs> but sometimes they don't. And you didn't have to, and I know you had other things that you could have done today. So I'm glad that you are here for this part of our family celebration. Um, we give thanks for goodly heritage, for what has been. And we pray God's grace on what will yet come. There is no limit to what people of goodwill can do here. Hope and courage by God's Spirit. So, walk in love as Christ loved us, gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. <laughs>